So you ready for bottle? I'm ready. <laughs> Well, guys, can, I, can you see it's, it's kind of raining? Today's the day two. Uh, we got last night to the hotel about 9.30 at night. It pretty much, we rode half of the Chanaloha Skyway on the dark, and uh, it wasn't really fun. And, but we got, we got to the hotel pretty safe, you know, good thing, you know. But, you know, it's something I don't recommend to anybody. And uh, today is day two, and um, today is supposed to be a 70% 70 chance, 70 chance of rain. So we're gonna have scattered showers throughout the day. And uh, if you can see, it started raining back again. So we're gonna wait a little while to see if it stops and we're gonna start hitting the road. Okay, we're heading to the Dragon now. Here we go. If hopefully, every hopefully goes smooth. The, taint, the the rain stopped for a little while, so hopefully we go through the tail, the tail of the Dragon when it's dry. Well, not dry. The the, the the pavement is wet, but there's no rain. So, if there's no rain and the wet pavement, we'll be fine. Just, you know, you go your own pace. I always forget, I think it's 310 curves in 10 miles, I think. So, we just left Dio's Gap, the Killboy store. It's funny because I've done the Dragon many times and I had never stopped to the Killboy store. I always miss it. But this time we uh, we stop and uh, we pick up some stickers. And uh, we took some pictures. The Dragon is one of the most popular uh, scenic route among bikers. Even though a lot of bikers say that there's better routes than the Dragon. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, it's, it's just the curves, that's all. But if you are more into uh, lazy turns, there's others that are better. I think for me, the best, uh, the best time to, if you want to do the Dragon during, during the week, not on the weekend. The plan for today, so far, we're gonna do the Dragon. We're gonna start by the uh, Harley, no, it's not the Harley store, uh, Harley, uh, the uh, 129 Dragon, whatever. Then we're gonna get on the uh, Shadow Hall, uh, not the Shadow Hall, we did that yesterday. Well, we did half of it because the other half, we did it on the dark, so. It was no fun at all. We're gonna hit the foothills partway, and we're gonna pick up the. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna pick up the foothill partway at, uh, at the highway 129, and we're gonna ride it about. I think. I think it's about 30 miles. We're gonna do about 30 miles. That will give us enough to. Uh, to do the new section. And obviously. We're gonna make a U-turn, gonna come back and probably we're gonna work our way back to the Dragon on our way back. I probably won't film that part of it. I guess once we come back, depending on the time, we may hit a little of well, the Moonshiner, uh, the 28 may do a little for today for sure tomorrow I'm gonna hit it again Corey and Ed for sure Corey I think he's planning to head back home tomorrow so me and Jorge and maybe Ed we're gonna have one more day of riding which is tomorrow so we may hit the moonshiner a little moonshiner towards the uh, Fontana Dam 
we've been we've been running out of schedule we've been running behind but it's not a big deal you know we're taking our time you know we I always try to run on a schedule I'm just used to it because I'm used to riding by myself when it comes for a you know doing my smoky trip so I guess when you ride riding with more people it change you know you you have to give more time but it's okay I think at the end of the day you know it's it's just enjoy the time and and pace yourself and get the best out of it if you can make it to certain routes that you plan well there's always a next time you know there's always a next time and that's a good thing you know it's every you can always come back the next year and do it again and or do it differently or do what you didn't do the year before you know if you run out of time I'm gonna leave you some of the uh, time lapse what is left for the dragon I will probably see you I will probably see you at the full hills I came to the dragon a couple months ago on my truck and let me tell you he sucks ass do the dragon on a vehicle I was about to throw up and it took forever so if you want to come to the dragon do it on a motorcycle don't do it on a car car sucks all right guys i'll see you at the foothills if it's not raining finished doing the uh, the tail of the dragon and we are right now at the uh, at the Harley store the 129 uh, the ride was pretty good so right now we're gonna head to the uh, foothills we're gonna do uh, we're gonna probably ride about 25 miles on the foothills we're gonna we're gonna ask some other guys to see what they think about the dragon so far so what do you guys think about the dragon I was good Wish it was actually uh, uh, dry. One day, I'm gonna do a ride I wanna do in the dry. In the One dry. We did, we've done every damn ride that I, since I've had this street glide, every like destination we went to ride, it rained. It was wet on Beartooth Pass. It was wet in the Black Hills. It was wet in Cloudcroft. That was the one place I wanted to go on that entire yep. loop we did through New Mexico, is Cloudcroft, New Mexico. It, rained the whole day then it's rained every destination I've wanted to go to you since I've had this bike I went everywhere in, in the country on that dyno for years and it rarely rained and I buy this everywhere I go it rains so what do you think uh, Jorge what do you think about the dragon oh, it's your first, first time. time it was awesome man that was great I didn't expect it but yeah like, like Corey say, it would be awesome it was perfect a nice sunny day but it was good yeah 
So, by the way, what did you name your bike? Chicken Hawk. Chicken Hawk. Chicken Hawk. It's a warrior Hawk. <laughs> warrior. <laughs> warrior. Chicken Hawk. Because it's a warrior competing with three street That's lights. A, the sweet iron 883. You got there? By the, the the by the end of this trip, we're going to figure it out what's going to be the name of the bike. So, we, we, we kind of have mixed. Uh, <laughs> I'm not so it's, it's going by boats. Uh, it's, it's just the warrior, warrior, because it's competing with three street lights, keeping up. No, it's two. He's got a limit. Well, oh, it's two street uh, lights. Still, a limited, yeah, but yeah, still, open. it's getting that. It's warrior. It's fighting, you know. So it's getting there. So yeah, warrior. I tell Jorge that is 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 a fat lie. Because it's turning to like a street life for my fat boy. Well, it was a street boy. That's what I called it for a long time. A street boy. A little bit street collide, a little bit fat boy. But I really, man, chicken hawk. It just, <laughs> it just ties the whole, the whole thing. It's going to be you. It's going to be the bike. Oh, chicken hawk. No, no, no. Just no. like foghorn no. leghorn. I'm a chicken hawk. See, I'm a chicken no, hawk. It's the, yeah. It's staying with a warrior hawk. Warrior Fighting, uh, keeping up. Yeah. Well, we're gonna come out with a logo. <laughs> so next, uh, next stop we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna head to the foothills. Um, I will see you guys later.